BrainWise presents Grade 5, Science Quiz B, Part 6 Hello, brilliant minds! It's time to test your science smarts! 20 questions stand between you and science glory! Are you ready to take on the challenge? Number 1. What is humidity? Again, what is humidity? The choices are A. The amount of wind B. The amount of sunlight C. The amount of water vapor in the air D. The amount of clouds The correct answer is C. The amount of water vapor in the air Number 2 what is an anemometer used to measure? Again, what is an anemometer used to measure? The choices are A. Air pressure B. Humidity C. Temperature D. Wing speed The correct answer is D. Wing speed Number 3. What is a hygrometer used to measure? Again, what is a hygrometer used to measure? The choices are A. Air pressure B. Humidity C. Temperature D. Wing speed The correct answer is B. Humidity Number 4. What is an asteroid? Again, what is an asteroid? The choices are A. A large, icy body with a tail B. A rocky object that orbits the sun C. A star that orbits another star D. A planet that orbits a moon The correct answer is B. A rocky object that orbits the sun. Number 5. Which planet is the largest in our solar system? Again, which planet is the largest in our solar system? The choices are A. Earth B. Mars C. Jupiter D. Saturn The correct answer is C. Jupiter Number 6. What is a space mission? Again, what is a space mission? The choices are A. A trip to the beach B. A journey to space to explore C. A trip to the mountains D. A journey to the city The correct answer is B. A journey to space to explore. Fantastic job so far! You're showing your science skills! Take a quick moment to refresh! And let's jump back into the quiz! Number 7. What is a constellation? Again, what is a constellation? The choices are A. A group of planets B. A group of stars forming a pattern C. A group of moons D. A group of asteroids The correct answer is B. A group of stars forming a pattern Number 8. What is the life cycle of a star? Again, what is the life cycle of a star? The choices are A. Birth Growth, death, B. Birth, growth, stability, death. C. Birth, stability, death, D. Growth, stability, death. The correct answer is B. Birth, growth, stability, death. 
Number 9. What is the importance of studying constellations and stars? Again, what is the importance of studying constellations and stars? The choices are A. To find buried treasure B. To understand the universe C. To predict the future D. To find new planets on Earth The correct answer is B. To understand the universe. Number 10. How do ocean currents affect regional climates? Again, how do ocean currents affect regional climates? The choices are A. They have no impact on regional climates. B. They transport heat and moisture, influencing temperature and precipitation. C. They only affect the weather in coastal areas. D. They only affect the weather during certain seasons. The correct answer is B. They transport heat and moisture, influencing temperature and precipitation. Number 11. How do scientists study past climates? Again. How do scientists study past climates? The choices are A. By analyzing current weather patterns B. By studying ice cores, tree rings, and sediment layers C. By observing cloud formations D. By measuring ocean temperatures The correct answer is B. By studying ice cores, tree rings, and sediment layers. Number 12. What are the terrestrial planets and what characteristics do they share? Again, what are the terrestrial planets and what characteristics do they share? The choices are A. They are gas giants and have many moons. B. They are small, rocky planets with solid surfaces. C. They are icy planets with rings. D. They are planets made of liquid metal. The correct answer is B. They are small, rocky planets with solid surfaces. Number 13. What is an exoplanet? Again, what is an exoplanet? The choices are A. A planet in our solar system. B. A planet that orbits a star outside our solar system. C. A planet made entirely of ice. D. A planet that orbits a moon. The correct answer is B. A planet that orbits a star outside our solar system. Number 14. What is the Cooper Belt and what objects are found there? Again, what is the Cooper Belt and what objects are found there? The choices are A. It's a region between Mars and Jupiter with many asteroids. B. It's a region beyond Neptune with many icy objects, including dwarf planets and comets. C. It's a region inside Jupiter with many moons. D. It's a region around the Sun with many solar flares. The correct answer is B. It's a region beyond Neptune with many icy objects, including dwarf planets and comets. You're a science champion in the making! Keep your eyes on the prize and answer the remaining questions with confidence. Number 15. What is a nebula? Again, what is a nebula? The choices are A. A bright star in a constellation. B. A cloud of gas and dust in space where stars are born. C. A planet with a ring system. D. An asteroid with a tail.
The correct answer is B. A cloud of gas and dust in space where stars are born. Number 16. What is a supernova? Again, what is a supernova? The choices are A. A small star that explodes B. A giant star that explodes at the end of its life C. A planet that explodes due to a collision D. A comet that explodes when it gets close to the sun The correct answer is B. A giant star that explodes at the end of its life. Number 17. What is a black hole? Again, what is a black hole? The choices are A. A bright star that emits a lot of light. B. A region of space with gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. C. A planet with a very dense atmosphere. D. An asteroid that absorbs all light. The correct answer is B. A region of space with gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Number 18. What is the significance of the North Star Polaris? Again, what is the significance of the North Star Polaris? The choices are A. It's the brightest star in the sky. B. It's located directly above Earth's North Pole, making it a reliable navigational tool. C. It's the closest star to Earth. D. It's the largest star in the sky. The correct answer is B. It's located directly above Earth's North Pole, making it a reliable navigational tool. Number 19. What is the difference between a spiral galaxy and an elliptical galaxy? Again, what is the difference between a spiral galaxy and an elliptical galaxy? The choices are A. Spiral galaxies have a central bulge and spiral arms. Elliptical galaxies are oval shaped. B. Elliptical galaxies have a central bulge and spiral arms. Spiral galaxies are oval shaped. C. Spiral galaxies are made of gas, elliptical galaxies are made of dust. D. Spiral galaxies are young, elliptical galaxies are old. The correct answer is A. Spiral galaxies have a central bulge and spiral arms. Elliptical galaxies are oval-shaped. Number 20. What is the purpose of space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope? Again, what is the purpose of space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope? The choices are A. To study weather patterns on Earth. B. To observe distant objects in the universe with greater clarity than ground-based telescopes. C to measure the temperature of stars. D, to find new planets within our solar system. The correct answer is B, to observe distant objects in the universe with greater clarity than ground-based telescopes. Wow, you did it. You've shown your amazing science skills! Remember, learning is a never-ending adventure! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! See you next time! You rock this quiz! Post your score and see who can beat it! Check out other videos from BrainWise!